speaking of your style, it's very specific, mm-hmm. and I love it, by the way. Oh, thank you. Talk to me about some of those influences. I know you named Lucille Ball. I yeah. love that show when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. What are some other ones? Um, Lucille Ball is definitely one of them. Um, Dorothy Dandridge, obviously. I mean, we. I went to performance arts school, and it's where I studied jazz music, and but, you know, like classic jazz and jazz voices, and, and also the pop culture of the sort of 40s, 50s, and 60s, and so... You know, people like Lucille Ball, you know, Pearl Bailey, Dorothy Dandridge, you know, and, and even on down to Marilyn Monroe, you know what I mean? Those are all people's style who I, I love, you know, and um, on down to now, you know, Dita Von Teese and, and, and just people who have that kind of rockabilly edge to them. And and a lot of what influenced me was seeing rockabilly is sort of a big subculture in Southern California. So I would go to classic car shows when I was young with my dad. And I would see these women dressed up, you know, with their little victory rolls and their scarves, you know, tatted everywhere. Like, but they looked so cool to me, and they they always stood out to me. And so, that had a big influence on 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 what I did as well too. So, you know. And I've noticed that there are artists who have these really specific styles, like Janelle Monae is yeah. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think about the industry being more accepting mm-hmm. of? people with really distinct styles mm. do you see that they're more open to that nowadays yeah i think it says a lot i think it's it, it's it's a statement about people you know wanting to sort of break free from the homogenization of of style and and art and creativity and and i think that's important because you know i i i feel like you don't get new exciting things you know the discovery process becomes a little bland when everything is like a domino effect one right after the other with the same kind of image and look you know what I mean like I mean I'm also a believer though in the fact that you shouldn't go outside of yourself just for the sake of I gotta make myself stand out I I I'm definitely believe that if you just dive truly into who you are you know what I mean who you created to be stuff that you like no matter how weird it might look to anyone you'll naturally stand out you know what I mean I think it becomes weird when it's like okay I gotta do something over the top just to make myself stand out so just be you because that'll be the most valuable piece of art the most valuable you know that will be your highest image you know what i'm saying so i I, i'm definitely not like hey i'm if i have no desire to dye my hair gray i'm not going to dye it gray because it might make me stand out you know what i mean but at the same time if i want to dye it purple because i've always liked purple hair i'm gonna dye purple you know what i mean so i think people are more accepting because they want to see diversity in 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 music and in 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 art and you know they don't want everything to be so cookie cutter so it's nice 